Ah, ah. Lego my balls! They're not yours, and they're called spheres of science, Guinea. And I'm going to use these to demonstrate asteroid impacts on rocky worlds. Impact craters don't preserve well on Earth. But here's some shots from my first and last trip to Meteor Crater in northern Arizona, where 50,000 years ago, a huge meteor or a dense cluster of them came slamming down into this desert plain. What we're left with is basically this big hole in the ground. It's the best preserved impact crater on the planet. This NASA satellite image shows it best. And I got this flour, cinnamon, and cocoa powder mixture from my cousin in the last episode about rock layers. No way. I'm going to start off with the marble and the golf ball. And I'm going to release it at the same height. And let's observe how it affects our soil, let's call it. Observe the impacts they've made. Which one made more of an impression? Which one is more massive? Now I'm going to demonstrate the ping pong ball with the golf ball. Similar size and volume, but different mass, wouldn't you say? Different density. Let's observe. Also from the same height, and... The golf ball rolled back and forth, widening its impact crater. So let's go with depth. Which ball made a deeper impact? Is it because it's more massive? Simply dropping these spheres of science limits us to only one type of velocity because of gravity. That's why I'm going to be using the marble launcher, where the further you go back, the higher the velocity. And instead of a marble, I'm going to use a steel ball bearing. Now, this is probably going to make a larger mess, and that's why I'm going to go out to the hallway. But first, let's make sure we have protective gear for our eyes. Come on. So like before, we're going to start from above, going straight down, but this time with two controlled velocities. One weak and one strong. We'll start off relatively weak. Set it up. Observe. Is the crater deeper than when dropped? Let's see if that's strong. At the highest velocity. I think I may have broke the glass. But we know with real asteroid impacts, it's most likely coming in at an angle. And so we duplicate that here. We're going to start off with a weaker velocity. And here we go. Observe the ejecta made from this angle and velocity. So now we're going to try it at the fastest velocity this machine can handle. Cranked up all the way back here. Now let's see what happens. Paying attention to any of the ejecta, the material that sprays out. Here we go. How does this ejecta compare to the last one? And shortly after that, the whole thing cracked in half. Many of these demonstrations you could try at home. Just be sure to protect your eye. Oh, what is that? Giddy! Huh? It seemed like a good place to caca. You are not a cat and this is not a litter box! Uh, meow? Say, can I have my boss back, please? No! Ugh, gross! Ugh, I, I can't, I'm, I'm out of here. John is so busy! And it hit the glass, skimmed off the top, and rolled all the way down the hallway. <laughs> oh,